Oh, shit. What time is it? It's time for the Royal Goose. Okay, Elliot. Okay, here's how we're going to start the episode, okay? Yeah. Okay, I need you to say, Pinky, are you pondering what I'm pondering? Pinky, are you pondering what I'm pondering? I think so, Brain, but why is it that we always see Mary and Kate, but never Ashley? I mean, is she camera shy? Where is she? She's in the Bahamas. Tax evasion. Yeah. <laughs> Tax fraud. Yeah, see, I was hoping you would laugh harder than that. I'm eating apple. So, I was hoping you would laugh, and then you'd choke to death on them from laughter. <laughs> then I would take over the entire show, and I'd get all the money. Because yeah, we're totally we're making money. So much money right now. <laughs> <laughs> we don't have a dude. You know what pissed me off the other day? What? I think I told you about this on Twitter. Some fuck, some fucking twat had the audacity. Yes. God damn this fucking asshole to like DM me. He's like, I saw your channel. I don't think your swearing is appropriate. I'm like, fuck off, you uh... bitch. I'm like. This isn't your fucking channel. I don't think it's like Get a proper. Get bench, shitlord. <laughs> is that wait? Is that exactly what you said, or is that just like? No. What? what did... I was nice. Oh, I was okay. just like. I was like, well, um, you know, this isn't your channel, and I'm respective of whatever you want to do with yourself. But this is our creative license on our own channel. Um, he's like. I'm just saying this out of, like, I'm just concerned. You won't be able to make money. I'm like, yeah. Bullshit. I'm like, you won't be able to make money unless you have, like, fucking 100,000 plus subs. I'm like, so, mm -hmm. even if we got demonetized for everything, we have no viewers, so it doesn't fucking matter. You know what, I think my, you know what, that was probably actually my dad. He probably just made a Twitter account and disguised himself as somebody else and tried to send a message to you to be like, because he's like, damn it, James won't listen to me. He won't swear less or just beep out every curse word. Maybe I can get to Elliot somehow, but disguise myself as a stranger. No. I'm on to you, father. Oh, I it love this It was some person. guy from, like, I don't know where he's from, but he didn't speak English. And, well, in his videos. Uh -huh. He had his own YouTube channel. And he was like, okay. Ah, uh, okay. Oh. You can show me this later. I want to see this message. I want to see what this guy's channel is like. <laughs> I don't kick ass. Paper, anyway, you fucking paper. They were just trying to be nice, but I was just like, "Fuck you." Yeah. You know, you know the saying like, "Be the change you want to see in the world." Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's not always gonna work, unfortunately. I mean, I, I think it's a very good thing to do. It's like you know, if you want change to be in the world, do something about it. How much change? It doesn't mean it's always gonna work, though. We're talking like a nickel. Oh wait, here watch. We're talking like. Like laundry change, like a giant baggie of like ten dollars and quarters. Hey, wait, wait, shh. <laughs> hmm. Okay, apparently they like that. Anyways. Today I learned that James likes to bang shit with his pans. Uh -huh. Especially brushes and paper. No, I'm from the twenty first century. Bird. You know, I know a lot of people complain about, like, how the Xbox version, like, it's, there's, like, more censorship and there's, they ruin some stuff. I will say, there's definitely, the animations and the cutscenes look way better. Which is a pretty obvious thing to say. Yeah. Time change, but, uh, I mean, I think these old cutscenes, they still, they're still pretty charming. You know, all these, you know, random pie no, balls going all over the place. A lot of people have trouble with this boss fight. And... There's a Splatoon special thing going on right now. Oh, really? Is it a Splatfest? Oh, nice. Which one? Uh, what's the... What are the teams? Don't know. Oh, dude. So, sorry to disregard Splatoon. I completely forgot. I gotta tell you what's been going on with me at work. No. So, I, uh... So, I work in this place where I help uh, package potatoes and I move boxes and crap now for one hour every day I go into this really hot room where potatoes come right out of this machine and I have to put Last them on racks grower. oh whatever the hell it is I don't know <laughs> Long, it's super freaking hot in that room and I get super cranky whenever I'm really really hot 
I've gotten more used to it now, but the first week that I was in there, I was just mad. I was trying to keep it under control because I was at work, but I was like, <sighs> it's so fucking hot in here. I'm sweating and my hands are all sweaty and I'm wearing these gloves and it's extra uncomfortable. <sighs> it's like I walked in there and the freaking <laughs> from freaking Metroid would play every time in my head. Oh yeah. But yeah, I'm, I'm a bit more used to it now, but I still get a little pissy when my boss says, okay, time to go to the potato room it's like uh, okay sounds like a penalty box yeah, yeah sure hey you wanker 10 minutes potato box fuck you get your ass in there bend over hide the potato in your ass and get that shit through tsa we are not paying for this fucking tax what are you doing Oh, yeah. <laughs> Has anything like that ever happened to you at work? Yeah. Someone just hangs pitchforks from the ceiling. Oh, jeez, I've heard of that. Fuck that shit. <laughs> What are you asking me about? Have, has, have, has, have you ever gone to work? And have you ever been had to do a job or something briefly that you really, really dislike. That you're just like, Dah! I think that's every job. Well, no, I mean, like, is there, like, a brief part that you have to do briefly that you especially dislike? Like, for the most part, the job's fine, but then there's some parts where it's like, Ehh. Yeah, sure. No, like, yes, there are. Oh, okay. I just can't think of anything that's, like, recurring Kill. at my current job. Yeah, old jobs that work, like, tons of shit. Like, oh man, I had to deal with so many fucking dickhead customers when I worked at a theater. Mm hmm. Oh, yeah, <laughs> we talked about that. <laughs> man, the mm. fuck goes. Oh, oh, you know, that actually reminds me. There was, there was this one time at the theater that I had to work at. There's a lot of the people who worked there were cranky. And, you know, who can blame them? It's a movie theater. Mm hmm. Uh, we were talking about something. I, I was talking to this one girl who worked there. She was one of the higher ups. I can't remember what we were talking about, but I said. But why wouldn't you think it's blah 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 blah? Hey, I think I'm I like this blah blah. And she said no, because hey, you shouldn't do this because you watch Phineas and Ferb. Hey, she she just said that in a really pissed off way, and I was like, okay. Like she it was rude. But then the next day when I came in, she said she said it in a, a very non like. Do you ever, like, can you tell when somebody, like, has to apologize to you, but they don't genuinely, like, mean the apology? They're not like, I'm so sorry. They're like, hey, I just want to let you know that I was, uh, being rude yesterday. And, uh, so yeah, I, I apologize for that. <laughs> and it's like, yeah, yeah, sure, sure, you're sorry. You're just saying that because you have to. <laughs> she was cranky. Then she whipped out the mythic mace of Melendar. That's why the wife kicked me out. And Jack to the ghost oh, Wraith King over your shoulder. Oh, and then you grab him so and you just like smack down like in WWE. Yeah. And then like, oh, yeah. Fuck yeah. And they brought out the fucking the boxing guy ring. Guy and you went toe to toe with her next. <laughs> and with one uppercut, you sent her to the International Space Station. But then you realize she was an alien because she didn't die when she got into space. And she started breathing and she became a giant tentacle monster in space, like a mega octopus as big as the moon. And then you started speaking Japanese, and then you got down really low. Oh, I just all. And you had a, a giant oh, my school. And you said, oh, and then you just jumped to the moon with, with the pitchfork up, but it wasn't the moon, it was a giant tentacle monster, and you, you ended it. Dude. Is that what happened? I hope somebody freaking animates that story. I want it. That was beautiful. That was a tasty apple. Dude, I, I, you know, it's actually funny. I'm just gonna completely disregard what you just said. I, speaking of tentacle monsters, an apple a day keeps your anus out of the colonoscopy land. It's uh, not really. There was actually in in Conquer Two, the sequel that they were gonna make. They were gonna have the main villain was gonna be called Cthulhu. Cthulhu. You know, it was gonna be a big yeah, yeah. tentacle monster, but made of shit, something like that. Yeah, what you said just reminded me of that. That's awesome. Yeah. Apparently, like, eh, should I? You know, I'm not gonna talk about the ending of the game until like we actually get there. Yeah, they're fine. I eat them just because I have to. Yeah. You have to. Yeah, dude. Apple day keeps the doctor away. You don't have to eat apples. Yeah. You don't have to fucking eat apples. It's an old saying. 
and you know it's been around for saying? as long as time, so naturally it's true. You know what else was an old saying? What? <laughs> I love this part. What was an old saying, Elliot? Tickly bee. You're pacifist. And you only like to tickle bee. See, Elliot has no response. He was lying, so now he's just giving me the silent treatment. Hmm. I think I got a plan. We have a very non-open. Here, 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 down, folk and all. This is an old saying, you dumb load of potato shithead. Those who are not obedient will get three lashings to the back of their neck hair. Then they will be tied in the potato room for a drenching of sweat. Yeah, what don't I like doing at my job? Hmm. I'm trying to go on a circular motion here. Do you like apples? Yeah, they're, they're fucked. I just showed I just showed Elliot the annoying orange for the very first time ever. He's he'd never even heard of it, and I was like, what? Like I'm not a hyper fan of it, but I just showed it to him, and he was like, oh, that's funny. Next time on Game Grumps, we talk about this. What the fuck? We took over. We made it. Oh! <gasps>